they are okay croc these four letters are gonna literally haunt you throughout your whole medical school journey in ukraine but do not worry at least i tell myself that <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Amy Anna. Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently a third year medical student at Dnipro Medical Institute and I finally moved to Ukraine. If you want to see a tour around my flat, you know, click the video up here. So yeah, and in June 2021, I'm taking croc. Croc one. Yes. <laughs> Basically, CROC is this general science medical exam that is a state exam. Everyone has to take it if you want to get to your clinical years and basically move on. This exam is not just for medical students. It's also for your dentist and your pharmacist. Aren't you so lucky? I'm not going to go into any other details that you can just find out from the website here. Basically, in this video, I want to reassure you to not get like too stressed and give you my best tips and advice for preparing for Croc 1. I haven't done the exam, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. Basically, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes in the summer. So we're gonna see if this video works or not. I hope I'm not jinxing anything. Before we start, guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. You know you want to. We're vlogging our whole medicine journey and now we're in Ukraine. It just gets more interesting. We've got loads more videos coming up about the city and getting by and I'm sure you do not want to miss them. So make sure you ring that bell and we do videos pretty much like every few weeks so okay let's go hey guys it's amy anna and welcome back to my channel if you are applying to medical school or you are at medical school croc is standing in your way croc one to get to your clinical years and croc two to basically graduate but fear not i'm here to test it out for you beforehand do not stress you know i got a first class degree <laughs> i'm very humble if you want to check out that video actually it's got some great organizational trip tips and revision here you go what i always say my motto is do not compare yourself to others do not compare your progress everyone revises in a different way and everyone learns in a different way people will say just cram but if that's not for you you need to find your method too. But I'm gonna tell you like the bog standard way to do it. We could make these golden tips. Sorry, I forgot about golden tips, by the way. No, I'm not gonna make these golden tips. Okay, yeah, yeah. These are Amy's, yeah, we're doing it, okay. These are Amy's golden tips on how to pass crop. My number one, number one tip, which you cannot you cannot fail to do is to attend croc prep classes guys if you're doing graduate medicine especially you have to do it you have to i recommend two teachers obviously they might change i don't know if they'll get different jobs but there are two teachers that are very reliable and i trust them and i think <sighs> Okay, number one teacher is Dr. Abdullah and he is so cute. He has like a really fluffy beard. <laughs> a lot of people have beards here. I like beards. It's so fluffy. Why should you choose Dr. Abdullah? Okay, he does smaller classes which are really interactive. You feel like you're learning all along the way. Dr. Abdullah, look, I'm going to show you. This is my um, book that I'm currently doing, Physiology. Oh. So I make notes in that during the classes. And then I love to make like posters and stuff and just use different colors. So this is biochemistry. He structures things well, okay? So he splits all the subjects of croc, which you can find here, splits them into nice units, gives you a little pack of like all the bullet points that you need to know. Then he'll go through everything, the essentials you need to know, spend about three lessons doing that. And then after that, he will go through basically every single question that's ever been done for that topic. And not only like, the basics but also like tips on things they normally ask he basically teaches you how to master each one anyway so his number is in the description below contact him via whatsapp you'll see his picture the beard <laughs> okay so that was like number one a because it's about the teachers number one b is mustafa <laughs> he is he's from africa and he'll go on about this anyway he is also a really good croc prep teacher he is just as good but he uses more of a standard approach to be honest most people like this more because he has a powerpoint and he goes through everything and he doesn't ask as many questions which i know a lot of students actually like but i learn better through talking but like even when i'm revising i will talk that's why i like dr abdullah's more effectively but mustafa love you too he's he's really organized as well and he goes through everything as well and also a link for mustafa in the description it's a link to the agency 
so you can see. Right, golden tip number two. For this, I actually need to shout out to Denaid. Denaid, I love you. So Denaid was one of the ones that um, emphasized, but also Medlink recommended as well. This website is called Inutron. I think I'm pronouncing it right, Inutron. Okay, so the link is below. Basically, Inutron has all the past papers for Croc, but the key is to start with the bases. So the bases are, again, divided into all of the topics. You can go on the website. It's really simple. Click on the base, then click on the year. So they've got 2015, 2016, 2017. Click on the topic you want to do and it'll go through all the questions for that topic, okay? Go through all of that and at the end, it will tell you all the correct answers. Actually, it tells you the correct answers along the way, but then it gives you summary. Once you've mastered each base, as Junaid recommended to me, then go on to the past papers. Guys, this is where you scare yourself if you go straight to the past papers. No, don't do that, okay? Because it's too much in one and it, that, is, that is so crazy to want to straight away enter graduate medicine, not even finish like learning all the preclinical stuff and do a past paper on the whole of those three years. Go to your classes, practice the bases and then the last few months do the previous papers. Also note, only do the previous papers from 2010. Tip number three is to start practicing early. Like I actually wish I'd started to practice earlier than I did. Don't cram. It's way better to just start doing questions from the start guys. Less stress. Tip number four, basically to start accepting things with the croc, okay? You need to accept that there will be spelling mistakes or some words they mix up. Basically, the English translation is rubbish. Also, accept a wrong answer. Sometimes they might actually put the wrong answer you have to know according to the spelling. Again, if you go to Dr. Abdullah's classes, he will go through this, he's very good. Quote, Ukraine has no logic, so literally, <laughs> no logic. Next, tip number five, another shout out, and this time to Ali. Ali, my amazing estate agent. And Ahmed, I love you too. <laughs> he recommended to me Osmosis, and this website is great for, mainly I, I use it for pharmacology, but it's got great videos. They make everything so simplified, but again, you learn everything. And it's also got other functions like flashcards, study notes, study planning, and everything like that. Check it out, links in the description again. Another good resource is Lecturio. Again, link in the description. This, the lectures are more boring, as in they're just like, duh, 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 duh. but it is good. And on the university portal, actually, on the university portal, especially for pharmacology and some of the other subjects, they have uploaded the lecturial lectures. So I wouldn't recommend buying Lecturio, although at the moment, Medlink can do a 50% off code, but I wouldn't recommend buying it. I haven't bought it because I don't really like lectures as much. <laughs> okay, I think that's my main tips. Other notes, so do remember to register for CROC. But if you haven't signed up with Medlink students or whatever agency you signed up with, they should do it all for you. If not, it's your own responsibility. Again, you can find all this information on the official website in the description. Another positive, the minimum passing score is 60.5% currently. So it's not that hi that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i will mention my progress how everything's getting on in future videos <laughs> if you are taking crop this year good luck i feel for you i'm here with you guys don't forget to subscribe and like this video i'm also on instagram at amy anna army also tiktok at amy anna army like but warning i am pretty crazy on tiktok just a warning guys you have been warned if you do have any questions please comment below you can also contact me by my facebook page which has a link below also so yeah it's minus 11 now so i'm just gonna go outside <laughs> bye